Hello, my name is Sergio Fernandez, and I am going to uh, make a tutorial on how to make games using Adventure Game Studio. Um, I usually like making games from scratch myself, meaning I write the code for the game engine myself, but that goes against what we've been taught in computer science, which is uh, don't reinvent the wheel. So uh, there's a lot of game engines out there. I decided to pick the easiest one to use to make a game engine where I don't use my own source code and I'm going to make a tutorial showing you uh, how I made the game. So this video is going to be about uh, showing you how to use Adventure Game Studio. Uh, to start off, um, I'm going to actually de design the 3D environment using my 3D software even though the, the game engine is a 2D uh, uh, game engine. I could uh, design things in 3D and pre-render it and use it in the game. So uh, the game I'm going to remake is going to start off in an apartment building. So I'm designing the apartment right here. Um, <coughs> it's uh, I'm going to des design here the bedroom, uh, the elements of the bedroom, the kitchen, the living room, everything. Um, um, so, so that I could pre-render it for the game. I'm even gonna I've even designed the fire escape in the outside of the of the apartment building, the back part. So once uh so um, so once I designed everything with my 3D model, which I've already started off and I'm gotten to a point where I could start using part of it for the game anyway. Um you know, this is pretty much what the apartment building is supposed to look like in the game. I'm gonna start using that, and I'm gonna start pre-rendering that for the for the game that I'm gonna be making. So this is uh, the the different parts of the the house, and uh, the bedroom is where I'm gonna be starting off. So that's gonna be the things that I'm gonna be working on the most right now. Um, so um, so I'm gonna uh, work a little bit more on the bedroom. And when I get ready, I'm going to put up the video showing you um, how I'm going to import the, the pre-render graphics into the Adventure Game Studio uh, program so that I could make a, uh, a point-and-click adventure game in Adventure Game Studio. Okay, so I finished the bedroom enough so that I could start using it in the game. I've already uh, done everything, put the floor, uh, classes, elements in the classes, everything that, that I need. I'm going to uh, animate it so you could get a little look of what it looks like in, in motion. So like I said, I put the floor already, wooden floor. I got the computer desk, the computer. I got a uh, closet with clothing, uh, you know, bed, curtains, everything. Uh, some art in the wall, everything that the bedroom needs to look like a lived-in bedroom. Um, the art that I decided to use is it's of that of a religious family. So some of the art in the wall is going to be of, of uh, like the Pope and stuff like that. So there's the Pope. This is the little hall. It's got a calendar to the right. It's the bathroom. To the left is the rest of the apartment, which I haven't finished. But uh, like I said, for what I want to do, this is enough. Um, I'm going to start off with the, the bedroom. I decided to render it at this angle, 20 degrees looking from up down. So it covers the entire bedroom. And like I said, it's got everything. It's got the wooden floor. It's got all the elements. Um, in, in my 3D software, I could, you know, open and, the open and close the closet door which I cannot do in the in the game, uh, not in, in a real three-dimensional way. I have to pre-render it. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to render a version of this room with the doors closed and a version of this room with the doors open. And then I'm gonna I import those little sprites, those little animations in the game so that you could um, Manipulate it, and you could interact with uh, all the elements in the bedroom. So, you know, closet door, bookcases, bed, everything around there.
Okay, so now we actually get to the game engine itself. This is the Adventure Game Studio engine. If you do a search on the internet for ga Adventure Game Studio, you will find their website and you could download this uh, this uh, application that allows you to make games. Um, once the first thing that it's going to ask you once you run it is if you want to load an existing game or if you want to create a new game. Um, so we're going to create a new game and it's going to uh, give us a set of templates from for us to choose from. I am going to choose hold on a second I'm going to choose the default game template which is pretty much going to give us a very crappy looking guy and a blank background screen we have to give it a, a the name of, of the game and the name of the executable of th that's going to appear in the game so I'm going to use tutorial for both So once I've uh, written the, the executable name and the name of the game, the title of the game, uh, it'll pretty much create a game which I will be able to run right away. So if I were to execute it right now, I would see a blank screen with the with the very crude, crappy looking character which we're going to be changing. So this is what we get. The character in front of a black background. We're going to change that right now. So we're going to change the b background by going into the first room that it's given to us. But before that, I want to do something. Uh, I want to go into the general's property. And I want to set the game resolution to the highest possible that it allows me to set it to, which is uh, 1024 by 768. Now, this area, the general's property, has a lot of global variables that you could set. Uh, you should look at it and, and play with it. Uh, right now, I'm just worrying about the resolution, 1024 by 768. So that's the highest resolution of the game that I'm going to be setting it to. Okay, now I could go into the room, and the room is has a black background. Now, if I see at the tabs, it says the the main background. So I'm going to choose a different background for the one that from the black one. Okay, it's not in this area, so I gotta go to the other area. Hold on a second. So here I have the pre-rendered background that I was doing in earlier in this video. I have one with the doors closed and one with the o doors open. So I'm going to use the doors closed as a default. And that's it. I've set the, the background of the game to, to, to this. So when the game starts, this is the first room that it's going to load. When I run it, you're going to see this room with my crappy looking character. Now the character doesn't move anywhere because I haven't defined a floor region, an area for the character to walk in. I'm going to define an area down here where he could walk. And I'm also going to be changing that character to a very better looking character. That, char that character looks pretty crappy. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the, the doors, I'm going to make them doors that open and close. Uh, I'm going to make you be able to pick up different objects around the room, like those books in, in the bookshelf. Um, and allow you to walk around uh, around the bed and, and around different parts of the house. So that's going to be the next part of the, the tutorial that I'm going to be doing.